Welp, it's, uh, it's official, guys. Esports sitcoms, esports comedy shows are coming to TV sometime soon. You know, when I first talked about this, I think it was actually last week as well, we talked about the possible Rick Fox sitcom slash comedy show coming to CBS. Uh, when I heard about that, I just shook my head and thought, there's no way that's going to happen. And that's likely true. There's probably no way it will happen, especially with the downfall of Echo Fox. Everything that's happened over there, we've covered here on the channel. It was uh, it was pretty bad, as you guys can know. All the accusations, allegations, all of the fraud inside the organization leading to his downfall. Rick Fox now outside of it. I highly doubt that comedy show, which is apparently going to tell the story of Rick Fox, how he actually reunited himself with his son through esports. Apparently that's not going to happen. It still could. I hope it doesn't though. But now something will be happening in terms of esports and comedy shows out there. Now brought to us by apparently NBC and uh, a comedy show based around, yes, yet again, the trendy, the now view capturing esports. Yes, it's actually going to be happening. NBC now calling for a sitcom series with Johnny Galecki. If you guys do not know Big Bang Theory, I was never a fan. There were tons of fans of it, but uh, that series sure did go on and on and on. It was a comedy show, and in that show as well, if you guys are not a fan of Big Bang Theory, they're also bringing on a writer to write this new show for esports, and instead of that show being based around all these friends who kind of find a mutual love for science and always had their, their weird quirks, this show is apparently going to be called The Squad, and it's a group of friends friends still, but finding a love, yes, as you can guess it, a mutual love for esports. And uh, it's yeah. The Squad is apparently going to be an esports comedy series on TV telling about how it is, uh, how it actually is to be an outcast, and then finally find your tribe in esports. As you can already tell by the wording, I am very worried about this. And again, when it comes to Big Bang Theory, the star Johnny Galecki, I was never a fan. I'm sure he can be funny, but no matter who they chose for this role, I would still be worried about how they portray esports. And we're already seeing all the tweets around this about what they can actually do around, well, what esports players do do. It's never, it's usually not stuff you want to air on TV for a lot of the uh, stuff we've covered here on the stuff, on the, on the, on the channel, all the stuff, you know, dropping racist terms, homophobic slurs, being banned on Twitter being banned on YouTube, uh, you know, the cheating accusations. What can they all make jokes of on TV? I have no idea, and I'm very worried about the way they portray esports in the first place, and can they mess it up? Oh, they certainly can, but it, it does have me worried. I think for good reason. So Rick Fox show might not be happening, but this one called The Squad is a sitcom about esports that will be happening, and it just makes me nervous even uh, even thinking about how, how badly our parents watching this show are going to think what we do is. I think I much more prefer web content out there. I think Bleacher Report's doing a really cool thing. It's actually called Battle Stations. It'll be with Doug Martin or Sensor, if you guys know from the Call of Duty scene. Apparently, he'll be hosting that show. I believe Bleacher Report's only web-based content as well, which which I find to be much more of the audience uh, here for gaming and esports. Apparently, Doug's going to go around, I presume to be North America, and visit celebrities, stars, athletes, and actually talk about how they got into gaming and show their gaming setups. That's why it's called Battle Stations. That, to me, sounds a bit more appealing. Obviously, a lot more short-form content, although they call it long-form, so I'll, we'll see how they actually shoot that kind of stuff. That, to me, seems a bit more appealing for our kind of audience than a comedy series about what we love doing. Again, they could probably make it very cheesy, probably very cringy. I hope the best for the show, and we'll see exactly what does happen when esports hits TV. As we know very well, traditional media hates on esports, they hate on gaming, and this is probably going to only add to the fact that they that they just don't like us, and uh, we'll see how they portray it. As always, hope you guys all enjoy breaking down esports and gaming news here every single day. If I missed a story, please comment down below. I will cover it as soon as possible. Thank you all for the comments lately, subscribing, liking. You guys are the best. I will see you back here sometime soon. Until then, take care of yourselves, gamers. All right, bye.